Hi everyone, this is Anne. This video is going to be on getting rid of or reducing lines and wrinkles. And as we age, our collagen production slows down and our collagen starts to break down within our skin and we develop lines and wrinkles. And if you're over the age of 40, you probably have a line or two that you'd like to either reduce or get rid of. And I just thought I would share my very favorite way at reducing and getting rid of lines and wrinkles. And if you don't already know, I am 50. I don't do Botox fillers or have any facial surgery. I'm just trying to age as well as I can by using at-home treatments and topical products. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoy my videos and I hope that you subscribe. As always, I'll go ahead and link everything that I show or talk about down in the description box beneath this video, which you can get to by following these instructions. And this is not sponsored. I just wanted to share with you what I think is the very best at-home treatment for reducing wrinkles and lines. So a line or a wrinkle is like a little depression within the skin. And if you can build collagen within that line or wrinkle, that will help to reduce or get rid of the line and wrinkle. I feel that the very best tool for getting inside a line or wrinkle and building collagen is a derma stamp. And I purchase a 0.5 millimeter derma stamp, which is long enough to stimulate new collagen growth. And I have shown this in some of my derma rolling videos that I've done, but I've never done a video specifically on the derma stamp. And I really believe that this is the best tool for getting in lines and wrinkles. Using a derma stamp is very similar to using a derma roller. And I'll just go over some basics of what I do before I use my derma stamp and then what I apply after I use my derma stamp to help stimulate new collagen growth within that line or wrinkle. I use my 0.5 derma stamp once a week right on my line or wrinkle, and then I use a 0.25 derma roller all over my face, and I'm going to start derma rolling my neck as well because I've noticed that when I look down at my phone or my computer, I'm developing some horizontal lines in my neck that I don't like. And the 0.25 derma roller helps products to just absorb deeper into your skin and thereby work better. But the 0.5 millimeter derma stamp, I use specifically into my lines and wrinkles only in order to build new collagen within those and raise them up so that that line or wrinkle is minimized. And some basic information about using the derma stamp is I like to use mine at nighttime because it can make the skin a little bit red and products are going to penetrate deeper into your skin for about an hour after you use your device. So I use mine at nighttime and then I apply my nighttime skincare and go to bed and just let it absorb in during the night. And by morning, all the retinas is gone from my skin and my products are completely absorbed. You never want to share your derma stamp and you only want to stamp on clean skin. After every use, you do want to disinfect it. And I do that by spraying the needles with rubbing alcohol and I really drench them. And then I just let it sit with the cap off for about an hour to dry before I put the cap on and store it. I do replace my derma stamp every six months. As far as products that I use before and after derma stamping, if I'm going to be stamping my forehead lines, that area is very sensitive for me. So I will apply a lidocaine numbing cream for 20 minutes and then I remove that before I derma stamp. And for products that I use after derma stamping, I like to use ones that help to stimulate new collagen growth. And for me, that would be a vitamin A derived product, peptide product, or a growth factor. And I'll list some of my very favorite products down beneath this video in the description box so you can see what products I really like to apply after that are very gentle on the skin and won't irritate my skin after derma stamping. I always derma stamp at nighttime after I've removed all my makeup and washed my face and then used a clean towel to dry off my face. Some people do like to disinfect their skin with an alcohol wipe as well. 
And because it's daytime, I'm not going to remove my eye makeup, but I don't have makeup on in the areas that I'm going to demonstrate how I use my derma stamp. And for around my mouth, all I do is where I have a line, I want to open that line up. So I just very gently hold the skin to open that fold or line. And then you're just going to take the derma stamp place it against your skin and then just gently push it into your skin and when i treat an area so for example when i derma stamp this line that i have i typically go over it at least three to five times And that's all there is to it. It's really easy to do. And as you can see, it does make my skin a little bit red where I've stamped. And I'll just go ahead and stamp the other areas where I have some lines or wrinkles that I'd like to reduce. And you can also do the lines above your lips if you have those as well. And I do have a little scar right here from having Mohs surgery where I had some skin cancer removed about five years ago. So this is also great at reducing or minimizing scars. So I just stamp that little scar And then I do stamp between my eyebrows and I don't really have the lines but when I scowl I can see where the depression is in my skin and so I just stamp right where those depressions are. And because the skin is pretty thin on the forehead area, you might get a little bit of pinpoint bleeding and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it and you're not going to end up with a full bloody face or anything like that. So don't worry. It's typically just on my forehead that I get that. And then on these lines on my forehead, I just kind of hold my skin so that it opens these lines up. And I just go over them about three to five times. Another area that I stamp is my crow's feet. And all I do is I just open up those lines and then stamp directly into them. And then when I'm finished using my derma stamp, I just spray the needles with my rubbing alcohol and then let it dry. 
Next, I apply my skincare, and I typically apply one vitamin A product, one peptide product, and one growth factor product. And the way I layer mine is I go from the thinnest consistency product to the thickest. So whatever that may be for you, and you don't have to just use those products, you can use whatever skincare product you like after you derma stamp. Those are just ones that I really like. And again, I will put examples of what I use beneath this video in the description box. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. I really, truly appreciate it.